Hi friends, Greg Bulmesh here, FunDraw.com. Second video in the Valentine series, we're going to show you how to draw a heart and make your own handmade custom Valentine using the FunDraw.com Art Studio. Now all you got to do is if you're a registered user, you click Draw. You click Draw on a blank canvas. And we'll just start with the basic square shirt template just a square we'll start your drawing brings up the art studio so one of the things we do in the promo materials for the site is I talk about shapes you can mold like clay one of the things we're gonna do here is we're gonna mold a circle into a heart <laughs> so we draw our circle that simple we click on the, the add anchor tool. Now you're going to want to add two anchors, each one about halfway between the side anchors and the top anchor. So we'll put them there and there. <clears throat> then you're going to pull up your convert anchor tool. And this is going to help you make the points of the heart. You make them at the top and bottom. So you make it at the top, at the bottom and you want to make sure that the it's not twisted up you want to make sure this is straight out you want to bring these little circles in tight on the square to make the anchor a point so we'll do that there with that and then we'll do it here again up at the top and we're just gonna make this a very tight little thing and we're almost done already now all you gotta do is pull down go up to your direct selection tool and you pull down the top and bottom anchors. Pull down the top to make the inner point of the heart. Pull down the bottom to make the bottom point of the heart. And now if you wanted to get a little fancier, funkier, you wanted to edit it, you can actually go here, click on your side anchors, and you can move them out by clicking on the square and dragging it a little bit or if you want to adjust the, the angle of the uh, arc there, you just move your round anchors, your round anchor points, and you're done. So I'm going to leave it like that because I want to get through this quickly. Now we're going to take a couple of flowers. Now if you go down to the plant section, we've got a huge selection of flowers. Huge. 26 different flower images that you can use. Grab any one of them. You can just fill this up with flowers. But what we want to do is we want to use roses. And let's say I want something that's a little, little easier. So I'm going to go up to the holidays. And I'm going to pick Valentine's Day. And here's a wide variety of images that I can use. So I'm going to grab this rose right here. I just click on it, I click Add to Drawing. Voila! So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double it up. So I'll click Copy and Paste and now I got two roses and I can just drag one rose off the other. And what I'll do is I'll rotate the roses. So I'm going to take that rose and I'm going to rotate it 30 degrees. I'm going to take this rose, rotate it negative 30 degrees. And all I'm doing here is I'm clicking on the rotation buttons, negative 10, negative 10, negative 10. So now I've got the two roses. They're all rotated. So I'll bring them down and I'll bring their stems right in line with the bottom of the heart. And so now I've got those. Now if I didn't want them in front of the heart, I can just click the heart, click bring to front, and now they're poking out from behind. And you notice that part of it is because of the way I adjusted the heart. But we can just adjust the point, you know, where the rose is a little bit so that it's a little more even. There we go. Now I can select the whole thing, move it, center it a little bit, I've got a nice little Valentine handmade 
And then just click the text tool, put in a piece of text, change text to, from change this text to Happy Valentine's Day. Click OK. Then I can change the font to one of my favorites. I love Euphorogenic. It's just one of my favorite fonts. And we can change the size to something a little bigger. And then, now one of the things you got to be careful, you still have the text tool selected. Make sure you select the, uh, the selection tool because if you still have the text tool selected, when you click on it, you're going to add another text box. So we're just clicking here. Now that's a little too big, so we can bring the text size down a little bit. Center it over that. Right there. You've got a Valentine's card. It's that simple. It's that easy. It really is that easy. How long did it take us to make this? A couple minutes? Voila. Boom. Handmade. Something that you have put your heart into. Shown your own creativity with. That simple. Save drawing. Your drawing's been saved. OK. Close the art studio. Go to your My Stuff page. Rendered image unavailable. Well, now we're going to render it. We're going to turn it into a high res photo that you can take over to a photo processor that you can print out on your printer. You can get put on a t-shirt, on a greeting card, on a bumper sticker, whatever you want. Coffee mug, whatever you want. So we go down there. We go to manage this drawing. We can give it a title. You can, you know, give it a description, whatever you want. You don't have to. Save any changes. Click here to return to that drawing. Boom. Download bigger or smaller versions. And now you have the option. You can tell a friend about this drawing. Click on that. It opens up an email, puts a link to this page into that email so that the person you're giving this to can come see it or download this image. Full size, click go to download page, bada bing, bada boom, you download it, you print it, give it to somebody. You know, you could have added some more text, put from Greg, from whoever you are, do whatever you want. It's really easy to, to grab some clip art, make a couple of shapes, arrange some text, five minutes, ten minutes tops, you've got a beautiful valentine that you've made yourself using your artistic sensibilities that you can give to someone you love and they'll appreciate it like you wouldn't believe. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you have a lot of fun making valentines for your special people. I've had a lot of fun making valentines for you. You're my users. You're my special people. You make it worth doing this site, doing all this stuff. So thanks so much, and happy Valentine's Day to you.